Hi everybody! So today I decided to make this video. It's something different for me, but I really wanted to voice my opinion on something. Something that is pretty close to home and hopefully raise awareness about it, and that is mental illness. Mental illness is a very big part of today's society, and there are, there are two sides to it. So on the one side, it is very much romanticised, and by that I mean if you look on apps like Tumblr, People will share posts or discuss the fact that things like self-harm or depression are pretty or glamorous. And that is not the case. Having a mental illness is not a fairy tale. It is far from that. Having a mental illness is a very, very real thing. And sadly, even though it is romanticized online, in the real world, it is a taboo topic. It's not often that you'll be taught about mental illness in school or that you'll sit around at break time or at lunch or something and discuss your emotions and your feelings with your friends and that kind of thing. And I think that really needs to change because um, mental illness is something that is now becoming very common and um, it is not openly discussed. And I think people really need to educate themselves on it. You look it up and find out what exactly it is, what causes it, what the signs and symptoms of it are, how to approach it and how to handle it. Because far too often people uh, push things aside. Like I often have people that come up to me and say, oh Shanna, you know, I've had such a crap week or I'm really in a bad place at the moment, but what I'm going through is nothing compared to what you've gone through. So I don't really think I should be feeling sad because you, you're doing so much better than me on something so much more severe. And I cannot stress enough that that is the wrong thing to do. Do not ever compare how you're feeling to somebody else. Because everybody has different strengths and weaknesses. People handle things completely differently. Everyone's minds and brains work differently. Don't compare your emotions and your experiences to someone else. Because when that happens, you aren't approaching your feelings. And you're stuffing them into a little tiny ball and throwing them away. And when that happens, you, you will continue to do that with other things that you're feeling. And eventually, there's so much that you shove behind you that starts to come out in different ways like substance abuse or self-harm and in some extreme cases suicide now suicide uh, many of you know that someone very close to me committed suicide a couple of months ago and it is a very sensitive thing and um it is i cannot stress that you know it is it is never ever the answer it is never a, a good way out because the pain and the emotions that you are feeling are now being passed on to other people so your loved ones your family your friends everyone is now feeling it and it, it's just not the answer I know people may think it's a quicker way out and it is not it is not a quick way out it's just your, your emotions don't stop and nothing ends when you kill yourself everything is just passed on to more people it's never ever the answer don't ever think that killing yourself is, is an easy way out or is a good thing because it is not it's not okay and it, suicide is something that is becoming that is increasing and it, that really really needs to be handled and i think that mental illness is not discussed online like in videos and stuff like this nobody wants to speak about it but i'm here i'm speaking about it. it is a very real thing people need to educate themselves understand what you're feeling and understand what the people around you are feeling how to help them how to help yourself sitting down and saying looking at, at how you're feeling and grasping everything and saying i need help is not a sign of weakness to understand that you need help and it's a very very uh, courageous and brave thing i think to just to uh like understand what you're going through or um take that step to realize that you need someone to help you understand is incredibly courageous and so so brave and don't ever think that just by doing that you're weak because you're not weak you're not weak at all that is so brave and find help there are so many different ways that you can see seek help so it can be things like meditation amazing brings you back down to earth controlled breathing again helps with anxiety helps calm your body down playing a sport or doing an exercise it releases dopamine which is your happy hormone and that can really really help control your moods it can really just keep you centered now as well as that you can speak to somebody now i know uh people like your school counselor they are really really um underappreciated 
Now, this is a person that is there, open and willing to help you. They know the chemistry and the, the psychology behind it. And they know how to help you, but people are less willing to go and see them because they're worried that going to see a cool counselor won't make them look cool or makes them look weak. But that is not the case. There's a person that is there and ready to able to help you. Utilize them. Use them. They will help you. There are also um, websites where you can go. I'll post the link below. That is a place where you can anonymously help someone or seek help. So it's not a website full of doctors and psychologists, it's a website full of people like you and me. So I can be having a really uh, bad day and I can go online and anonymously talk to someone and seek advice and seek help or just vent to them. Or I can be the other person and help them. They can, someone can come to me and say, I'm feeling this way, feeling this way and I can help them, give them advice or just be someone to listen to them. So you need to understand that there's always help nearby. And you need to understand that by seeking it, you are not any less. Like, you are so brave for doing that. And you all need to understand, every single one of you, whether you have a mental illness or not, you were put on this earth for a reason. You you know, we were all once stardust. And there's a reason that you have been made into this human and placed on this earth. You're not here just to, you know, live and then die. Or, you know, go through a really bad phase and never recover from it. You are here for, for a reason. Utilize it. Live your life. Do things the right way. Make yourself feel happy. Make, help other people because you can make a, such a big difference. I know you may think that like sending a message that takes 30 seconds to type or signing at someone in the hallway or anything like that doesn't mean anything to anyone. But that smile and that message could be the reason that that person doesn't go home that night and self-harms or takes a pill. Just remember that kindness is good. You can go so far with kindness. Remember, happy mind, happy body.